Well, 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 just imagine for a moment. What if one day you're out in your backyard and you spot a dodo waddling about? You rub your eyes, blink a few times, but no, it's definitely there. Does it sound like a wacky, straight out of a sci-fi movie plot? Maybe. But today, we're asking that fascinating question. What if we could revive extinct species? Unlock the wonders of the hypothetical at What If Lab, where we explore the what ifs that shape our world. We swirl through time, space, and all your thoughts you dare not say out loud. So prepare for a wild ride through the land of speculation. Now back to our dodo. Cute, isn't it? Too bad they were wiped off the face of Earth around the 17th century, thanks to an unfortunate mix of overhunting and invasive species. But what if, just what if, we somehow managed to bring these flightless birds back to life? First, let's explore the how. Chances are, you're imagining some Jurassic Park scenario with DNA preserved in mosquitoes trapped in amber. But life, my friends, isn't a Spielberg movie. Reviving extinct species involves the science of de-extinction. Take note, there won't be any magical cauldrons involved, we promise. With tools like cloning, selective breeding, or genomic editing such as CRISPR, species that have bid us farewell could potentially be given a second shot at life. Though currently still in its early stages, there's been some pretty exciting progress. Ever heard of Pyrenean Ebex? They were declared extinct in 2000, but scientists managed to clone one in 2009, albeit it only lived for seven minutes. But it's definitely a start. So, let's imagine we do bring back the dodo, or the woolly mammoth, or the Tasmanian tiger. Cool, right? It's like living on a planet with constant surprises. But like an overly curious cat, we might be strolling down lanes we haven't quite taken into account. Consider this. Where would these newly reanimated species live? In zoos? Or do we toss them back into an environment they've been absent from for centuries? And then there's the issue of whether they'll disrupt the current ecosystems or, on the flip side, fail to adapt themselves. And of course the elephant, or should we say mammoth, in the room. Why are we focusing on reviving extinct species when we have plenty that are on the brink of extinction due to our activities? Maybe instead of playing God and reviving extinct species, we should focus our efforts on conservation. But let's face it, the idea of a revived dodo waddling around is enticing, and the possibility of bringing a thylacine back from oblivion is nothing short of mind-boggling. So, if we give a nod to the moral and practical implications, maybe, just maybe, We'll waltz into an era of unprecedented biodiversity with the presence of creatures that once roamed our planet ages ago. So, what do you think? If you're all tingling with ideas and questions, then, my friends, we've done our job well here at the What If Lab. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and maybe even ring that bell, because let's face it, who doesn't want to dive headfirst into the wild, fantastically outrageous world of what-ifs? No dodos were harmed in the making of this video. Sleep well, dream on.